Yellowstone Volcanoary releases preliminary report on Biscuit Basin eruption. Yellowstone National Park's Biscuit Basin will be closed for the remainder of the 2024 season due to safety concerns after Tuesday's hydrothermal eruption sent a three-foot-wide rock hundreds of feet into the air, damaging pavement and reshaping a nearby hot pool, the park said Wednesday night. Yellowstone National Park and the U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory released a preliminary assessment Wednesday afternoon of Tuesday morning's explosion confirming no volcanic or seismic activity caused it. The explosion, which shot steam and debris hundreds of feet above the ground, destroyed nearby pavement and sent grapefruit-sized rocks hundreds of feet from its source, wrote Michael Poland, the observatory's scientist in charge. Some of the blocks closest to the blast site were about 3 feet, 1 meter, wide and weighed hundreds of pounds. Although large rocks fell in the area and close to visitors who were on the boardwalk when the blast occurred, the park said no injuries were reported. The Volcano Observatory said the largest chunks of debris were mostly directed into the Firehole River. In the days after the blast, Black Diamond Pool and Black Opal Pool remained murky as mud and debris erupted from the ground along with steam and boiling water. The blast left the edges of both pools unstable, and the observatory said the shape of Black Diamond had changed slightly. In the hours after the blast, Black Diamond Pool showed several jets of water as high as 8 feet in the air, and by Wednesday morning, both pools were overflowing, sending murky water into the Firehole River. Poland said small explosions of boiling water were possible at Biscuit Bay in the coming months and that geologists from the U.S. Geological Survey and the National Park Service would monitor changes in the basin, mapping debris and taking water samples to see if there were any changes to the basin's hydrothermal system. The park said there was an explosion similar in size to the one Tuesday in the 1880s at Excelsior Geyser and smaller explosions have been recorded at Biscuit Basin in 2009, Porcelain Terrence last April, and in 1989 at Porkchop Geyser. The park said there is usually one or more hydrothermal explosions at Yellowstone each year, but they usually occur inland. While Biscuit Basin will remain closed through the end of the season, the Grand Loop Road remains open, as do other nearby basins. Hydrothermal explosions are more common than you might think in Yellowstone National Park. They are the most frequent but least damaging hazard, compared to strong earthquakes, lava flows and domes, and caldera-forming eruptions. On average, there are several hydrothermal explosions of varying sizes at any given location. Yellowstone National Park every year often in remote areas that might go unnoticed. Some of the largest hydrothermal eruptions in the past 150 years in Yellowstone National Park occurred in the 1880s at Excelsior Geyser, adjacent to Grand Prismatic Spring in the Midway Geyser Basin. The September 1989 explosion of Porkchop Geyser, in the Norris Geyser Basin, is perhaps the most famous hydrothermal eruption in the area. It was witnessed by several visitors but caused no injuries. Another small explosion occurred in the Norris Geyser Basin as recently as April 15, 2024. This event was detected by a nearby monitoring instrument specifically designed for that purpose. Without data from that instrument, the unwitnessed event might never have been recognized. In a monitoring plan for Yellowstone released in 2022, The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory specifically targeted expanded hydrothermal monitoring as a goal to address the threat posed by these small but dangerous hydrothermal eruptions. Monitoring equipment installed in September 2023 at Norris Geyser Basin is a first step toward that goal. Much smaller events are more common, for example, 
the rare 2018 eruption at Ear Spring, near Old Faithful Geyser. That eruption brought decades of human debris to the surface. But bigger events can happen, too. Since the last ice age ended in the Yellowstone area about 14,000 years ago, there have been more than a dozen hydrothermal explosions that have left craters hundreds of feet wide.